Hey, this is Cooper Manning with Home Team TV. My second guest is Super Bowl champion Emmanuel Sanders and new member of the New Orleans Saints. Pass is caught for the touchdown, Sanders. And they're going to love Emmanuel Sanders. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thanks for having me, brother. I wore my cowboy hat here because I knew I was dealing with a cowboy. I know, you know, a good old Texas guy, you know, a country kid who used to love to rodeo and rope everything. I thought I'd a good excuse to break out the lid. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> you, and it's it's bent the right way too. So I, that, that means yeah. some, you know, most New Orleans guys don't know how to bend the cowboy hat. So I'm glad I yeah. got it. Got it. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> where where are you today? Where are you where are you hanging out? Uh, I'm in Denver right now. I'm actually uh, I'm looking at a football field right now. Uh, just got out the football field and trying to put work in, trying to have a good year this year. You got anybody throwing to you out there? You need, you need, you need to call yeah. an old. Yeah, I, I probably need to call some, call an old teammate. But uh, right now, I got my uh, my best friend Rico. He throws me passes. Every he's about fifty percent, but hey, it, it'll work for now. <laughs> Um, I was, you know, I, I like the fact that you're a, a good old Texas kid, and I was doing some research on you, and they said you're even a, a country music guy back in the day. Is that is that held that held true, or are you on the other oh. thing? Oh, that's very true. I like uh, I like 2000 country though. Okay. You know, little like Kenny it. Chesney, Brad. Oh, really? You know, yeah. Okay. Uh, Rascal Flats, some Florida Georgia Line. See, when I you see know. you, I think of nothing but Rascal Flats. That's how that's yeah. the that you get there. Yeah, I, Rascal Flats is definitely my favorite, uh, my favorite band for sure. And did that continue when you went to SMU? That, some yeah. Country yeah, yeah. And I, I still do. Like, you know, I listen to my, I listen to hip hop, but every now and then I need to switch up. So I'll put on some country music. I got my wife into it, got my kids into it. I put uh, my son on a uh, little George Strait. <laughs> Your son is is kind of an entirely different interview. I mean, you're like a five minute interview. He's a thirty minute interview. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, tell me a little bit about Prince and how how old is he? Because he has a an uh, Instagram following that's uh, unlike any other. Yeah, he, he's six. Uh, and one thing he doesn't like is confidence. Uh, he, he he feel like he could take me on right now, and so I, I love it. But at the same time, I got to make sure he knows who's the boss right now. So, but. Uh, is he into everything? Is he into sports and everything? Oh, yeah. Oh, he loves football. He loves football. Uh, he loves basketball. He, yeah, he loves all sports, uh, mainly football. If you if you ask him what he wants to be when he gets older, he'll tell you, I want to be an a NFL player. So we'll see. We work every day. What's he think about coming to New Orleans? It's, I mean, he's he's now, you know, been in Denver, I guess. Was he in, in San Francisco as well? Yeah. So he's making this, you know, he's six. He's already got his third team under him. You're, and you're yeah. four, so. Yeah, yeah, he, he's making his rounds. He's excited. When I first told him that I signed with New Orleans, he, he, the first thing his eyes got big, and he said, "Michael Thomas, Drew Brees." He was, he was just excited about that whole opportunity, kind of just like his dad, you know, excited about the opportunity. Emmanuel, I know you probably had a lot of people looking at you. You know, you've, you've, uh, you've been productive at everywhere you've been. You've, you've won a Super Bowl. You've, you know brought another team to a Super Bowl. We visited down in Miami this uh, during that Super Bowl week last week. And now, when everybody starts kind of calling, what what was kind of the deciding factor in making the making the visit to New Orleans? Well, you know, I'm from Texas. Um, so to be close to home was was everything I, I, I wanted to, to in my last year. And uh, when you really think about it, the past happy offense, you know, I, I I played with another Manny, you know, in 2014 in a pass happy offense, and it was my best year uh, statistically. So, you know, I'm looking forward to getting uh, with another Hall of Fame quarterback in a pass happy offense. And uh, right now, like this offseason, I'm working my butt off and, and see if it all pay off. You know, obviously, you know, I want to get my yards. I want to get the stats, you know, and I want to have fun. But at the end of the day, ultimately, I just want to win another Super Bowl. And I feel like, you know, New Orleans is that team that can make it happen. Have you spent much time in New Orleans? Are you a, are you a fan of the cuisine and? and oh, the I love I love everything about New Orleans, from the flavor to to the team, to the city, to the, the people out there. Uh, I'm from Texas, so I'm very familiar with you know a lot of 
actually, I got family members that live in New Orleans, and uh, I got a lot of friends, especially after Katrina happened. Everybody kind of relocated to Houston, and so, uh, you know, I, I love people of New Orleans. You know, one of my best friends, Mike Wallace, he's from New Orleans. Yeah. they just just good, authentic, genuine people uh, that live in, in the state of Louisiana, and I just feel like they match my energy well. Well, I'll make sure, you know, we... Uh... I give you my number. I'll show you the local, a couple local haunts and spots. You gotta, you gotta know. And you All know, right, sound good. Let's let's link up. Yeah, we make that happen. Just kind of looking back in your career, when you went to Pittsburgh, you know, you play now with a Hall of Famer with Ben. What was that like? Uh, you know, kind of getting indoctrinated into the NFL. I was blessed. You know, a lot of people went. They they tell you like, if you want to have a good career, it has to start almost from the jump. And I was blessed. You know to get drafted to a great organization in the Pittsburgh Steelers with a Hall of Fame quarterback and Ben Roethlisberger with a one of the best defenses in the history of the NFL. And so when I say that and I say the best defense, it was made up of, of, of a bunch of Hall of Famers and a bunch of guys with a lot of knowledge that was able to instill that off of me as well and what I, what did I want to be and what did I inspire to be. And so to see them and how they go up and went about their business, you know, it kind of showed me kind of like how Peyton did with me as well. It showed me like how to be a pro because a lot of guys when they come into the NFL, you're just an NFL player. But the thing is, you're not a pro yet. You got to learn to be a pro. You got to get a certain schedule. So it taught me that. It's always good to have mentors like that. I know uh, Peyton was at, he wanted. I said I was going to talk to you today, and he wanted to ask. You know, I know y'all have a great relationship, but he was curious if who you had better timing with, him, Trevor Simeon, or Paxton Lynch. I just didn't know. <laughs> Well, you know, they say women lie. Uh, you know, they say women lie, men lie, numbers don't lie. So uh, <laughs> definitely got had to be Peyton if you look at the numbers, you know, from, from a number standpoint. Me and Peyton, man, it was some of the best times of my life playing with him, man. Your brother is a special dude, man, and just one of the absolute best people I've been around and best, like, teammates I've been around and just being in that system. And, like, we were, me and DT would literally show up before a game and have, like, $200 on who was going to have like over 150 yards like because we knew it was going to be at least one of us because it was going to be that much fun and you know to have like 10 to over 10 catches for 180 yards and go home and see your highlights on ESPN it's like it was like wide receiver heaven well I think you're probably going to have some similar type results and this dome gets cranked up and no wind oh. no, no cold and, and got some weapons on every side you're going to be uh I'm thinking hog heaven come down here. I, I hope. I hope. Sean Payton likes to air it out. Yeah. I uh we uh we had a team meeting this morning and uh you know, two weeks ago we had a team meeting and just seeing how Sean handles the meetings and everything. I just I just got a feeling I'm gonna have a lot of fun this year because Sean is, is a real authentic dude and I enjoy just 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 sitting and listening to him and just go how he goes about his business. So uh, the team seems like it's, it's a fun team, and I'm looking forward to getting in that locker room and, and having some fun. And then how quickly, how hard is it for you to get up to speed on the playbook? I mean, last year you went to Niners, and you figured it out pretty quickly. This is a, a little more complicated offense, I would think, especially because Sean and Drew have been together for so long. It's, I would, I would I'd be curious on how hard it will be for a young yeah. – you know, Yeah, to come that's, that's, uh, that's an inter interesting, you know, question uh, because – you know, obviously, I want to sit back and be like, yeah, I'll pick it up. And, you know, like, I'm going to work my butt off to get there. But I don't know, you know. And so that's going to be interesting to see, like, you know, how much of this playbook I can handle because it's a lot of option routes. It's a, it's a lot of different, like, like the coach sent me the playbook. And with one route, it's four different routes that you can run based off one route. And so uh, we're going to see how fast I can pick it up. But, you know, I, all I know is I'm going to work my butt off. And I've been fortunate enough to play in June Jones' offense, which is a spread offense that was kind of predicated like that off the coverage as well. So, you know, hopefully, you know, my background of offense will, like, speed up the pace of me learning Sean Payton's system. Emmanuel, have you ever been around receivers who come in or teammates of yours who are talented, fast, strong, can catch, but can't pick up a playbook, and that prohibits them from excelling in the NFL? Yeah, I you know I've I've been around a couple guys who just just can't pick it up and and they might grasp it at practice, but then when they get in the game, when the bullets get to flying, they don't pick it up. And so uh, it, at this level, um, and that's why I tell a lot of like people, you know, like my wife, like it took her a long time to really realize, like you have to be smart to play this game. Like yeah, you know, like 
Peyton, he was talented. Well, Peyton was one of the smartest people, if not the smartest person I know. You got to be able to use your brain and use common sense. And it's it's, it's a chess game. You got to you got to know what's going on. And so uh, if you can't grasp the playbook, good luck trying to play in this league because eventually, you know, that talent is going to wear off. And then, like, good luck trying to, like, have a long career because the talent is only going to get you there for a long time. But at some point, at, at year 11, where I'm at right now, you got to have got to have some type of sense of the game, some type of feel of the game, and to be able to maneuver in that way. Well, I think, you know, no one questions that you're a gamer. I think that's, that's what people say. You know, when the lights go on, and the bullets are real, you show up to play. So I think the Appreciate Saints are it. in for a treat. Um, how about crawfish? You a crawfish eater? You, you, no. You know? uh, no? My wife been trying to get me into it. I just, I try, I, I think I had a bad batch one time. I, I cracked it open and I was just like, nah, this ain't for me, man. Well, you come down to New Orleans, get, call me. I, I, I'll tighten you up. We'll go hit some spots. I'll teach all right, you how, cool. how to eat them right. And uh, we'll have a good time, all right? Oh, oh my wife's going to love that. She loves well, crawfish. Sound well, good, brother. Sound we'll have good. A I appreciate you joining us, and I uh, look forward to seeing you in town. All Take right, care, buddy. See you. Bye, pal. Bye-bye.